today is Friday and tomorrow starts the world ranking event in IBI, which we are very excited about. <laughs> it's uh, going to be middle and sprint on sun Saturday and long distance on Sunday. And there are going to be some pretty good runners, so it should be fun. <laughs> and we hope we'll survive. Right now we bought a ton of groceries and we are heading to the location where the training map is. So see you in the forest. survive the long distance. <laughs> Maybe not even the middle distance. <laughs> so now it's 7.30 and we are making coffee and hitting the road. Because we don't have any world ranking points, we go pretty early, we go at the beginning of the start list. Uh, at night, a uh, nine night. At, <laughs> at night. night. <laughs> yes, at night. Or at nine a.m. <laughs> but it takes about forty-five minutes to get from the parking lot to the start or to the pre-start. So we yeah. better go early. <laughs> So the plan is hop on the bus 10 minutes from here, then 15 minutes ride, then it's I don't know how far. One and a half kilometer more or less to the press start. Yes, and then start. <laughs> <laughs> So the start, the time zero is nine o'clock. So if we have 30 minutes to go to the start point. I remember all we have two starts. And then <laughs> Stays between 1300 meters, 12 minutes walking. So take your time. Way to the start was like one and a half kilometers long with some solid elevation. I got to the pre-start just few minutes before my starting time because in the previous weekend I messed up my ankle a bit, so I needed to tape it. After like 10 years without orienteering, I totally forgot how to do it. I even had to watch some YouTube videos, tried it and and I fixed the right ankle instead of the left one. <laughs> so I quickly taped the other one as well and hit the path to the start. The first race of the day was middle distance in Sierra de Rubia. I like the terrain description from the bulletin. It says 100% Mediterranean terrain, hard vegetation, rosemary above the knees, wild pines, soils that do not have the slightest corner without stones. That's very accurate. 
the cursor graciously set it with a little climbing. There were parts of the course in the pine forest with reduced visibility where you had to read the map and train very carefully. And in between we had some longer legs where you could go full speed. This was the worst control for needed. He was so lost, he didn't believe literally anything and he had to check everything. It cost him like nine and a half minutes. We have the first time in the main elite class. Vodicek Ludwig have the first time here with 53 minutes 58 seconds. So we have now the first reference time on the main elite class. 53 minutes 58 seconds. Vodicek Ludwig. On this one, I went. 11 minutes, or almost 11 and a half. Switch? This? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I was hoping, I was thinking that this one is this one already. Okay. So I was always running in this area. I went even up here and down, and I was just running uh. in this corner. I enjoyed the first few controls, and then I had some problems with number five where I didn't see the path in the map leading right to the control, so I followed the valley just next to it, and I forgot to turn out of it and catched myself on the rocks under the control. It cost me around two minutes. Yeah, but the courses were quite like enough long, it was fine. We have some energy left for the sprint, maybe. <laughs> so. That's nice, the sprint should be like more downhill. So we'll see in the sprint. We have some quarantine there. Yeah. Which will be in like 90 minutes, I think, or 100 minutes in the quarantine. Mm -hmm. But it seems that it will be fun, pretty fast and fun. So we'll see. The sprint distance <laughs> takes place in Ibi town about 20 minutes right far from the parking we were now accordingly to the bulletin it should be a fast downhill race with trickier final controls and the quarantine starts in an hour <laughs> and we are off to quarantine Valeria. Yeah. Yes, he says, Siete. Good pick. Ah, well. Suerte. Este? Ah, vale, okay. <laughs> The start was situated almost at the highest point of Ibi at Santa Lucia Hill. For the first control was very important to make a rapid route choice because the decision point was just around the corner from the start. What the hell? That was fast. After the first control on top of the hill, we started to descend to the streets of Ibi. <laughs> A 
a few quick controls after we found ourselves in a wide open area of a park with a lot of details. Then a little bit of town again and spectators control followed by the last challenging part in terms of reading the map in a school area where despite the warning in the bulletin big mistakes happened. Stupid mistakes as always. <laughs> Not reading the descriptions, oh, no. being on the other side of the fence. Yeah, just basic orienteering. <laughs> Nothing special, really. I got 204, I think. Yeah, 208. 334. I came to this, and then... Good morning again. <laughs> yes. It's seven, I don't know what. Yeah, quarter past seven. Quarter past seven. And it's, it's dark outside. It's dark. <laughs> and we are trying to get ready for the long. Because we are going early again. I start at 9.07 and Nida starts at 9.15. Breakfast. Yeah. Okay, you are going to the Okay, vale. Okay. <laughs> 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 Notice the starting process works here a little bit differently, at least from the Czech one. The mark route from the event center takes you to a pre start point where is your presence checked for the first time. Carmen Perona, Ludwig. <laughs> 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 It's around five minutes before your starting time. Then you are let in in the starting area within a few meters further. Here you wait for two or so minutes for the usual three one minute corridors. Carmen Perona? Limpia Casa? In the middle corridor you take the control descriptions and in the last one you can already take the map to hand without looking at it. For the actual start you have to punch the starting control. <laughs> The terrain for the long distance was overlapping with the one from the middle distance and model event, so it was a bit easier to understand the contours. Yes. I was even taking few similar route choices from the day before. The main elite course was 11 kilometers long with 500 meters of elevation and only 10 controls. The women elite course was 8.5 kilometers long with 340 meters of elevation and 11 controls. From the previous competitions, we had a private battle with my friend Joel from Sweden. Hey. Go, 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 go! 
<laughs> with even score two by two at the time. I was pretty lucky and won the last race, so I came up as a winner in our three week five race battle. It's really nice to have someone on the same level who's making like similar mistakes. But if we calculate the score differently, like by time gap or something, Joel would have probably won. I really can't wait for the next year for the revenge. <sighs> yeah. It was tough. <laughs> the long was very long. <laughs> very uh, the terrain was very rocky and bushy and it was really hard to make the route choices. It was very well set the courses. Mm -hmm. Um, I was there like one hour and 56 minutes with loss of 28 minutes minutes to the winner. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I spent on, on the course almost 100, no, 110 minutes and from the winner I got 22 minutes, I think, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> And the many elite course, it was really, really nice. On each control, it was like pretty hard to make the decision, especially on the fourth control. I think that was the the king uh, king control of the of the course <laughs> today. The most uh, I think important one to choose. Well, yeah, the women's elite was also really nice, really well set, <laughs> and also really hard to choose the route choices to almost every longer choice <laughs> yeah. was really hard to make the decision. Fuerte aplauso para los campeones. So we have a lot of for the winners. Philip Hassan and Clara Aselson from EFK Gothenburg, the Swedish team. Thanks to the organizers for the weekend. It was really fun to do mm -hmm. and we hope we can come next year again. Yeah, I think we will we will come next year <laughs> <laughs> to the to these areas in in Alicante and like the Valencian yes. region or Museum. It's, the Costa Caleda location is really really nice. Let's see you another time. Adios. Adios. <laughs>